this is my dream to be UFC champion, to be UFC best fighter in the world, you know, this is my dream. We got stars. We have access to incredible athletes that can come in, share their wisdom, share their knowledge. It's a brand that speaks for itself. I mean, when you say UFC, everybody knows UFC. It's a mind control. Ten means fit. Kwon is mean fist. So it means mental. So Taekwondo means to physical and mental training. Hello and welcome to Cut to 365 with me, Adil Halim. On this episode, we wrestle with the rise of combat sports in Doha. Interest in mixed martial arts has increased significantly across the region, so much so that the Ultimate Fighting Championship, better known as the UFC, has opened two new gyms in Qatar. I dropped by to see why fans of the sport are willing to put their body in harm's way to see what it's like firsthand to grapple inside the cage. Gripped by grappling, a captive audience looks on intently as UFC lightweight champion Islam Makachev is leading a masterclass on mixed martial arts. For members of the new UFC gym in Qatar, and even their coaches, the opportunity to learn takedown techniques from an elite fighter is not one that comes around very often. While the term combat sports may sound aggressive, the fighters here say the beauty is in the art of self-defense. The base of every single martial arts is to protect yourself, is to defend yourself. So any group classes we offer this, like one classes are more based on grappling, like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, other classes more on striking, like boxing, Muay Thai. Tati Passos runs the gym's Jiu-Jitsu program. The Brazilian coach often trains once, twice, sometimes even three times a day. What we, we trying to do here is create a very good team, a very good training environment that's open for everyone. Chris Bothwell arrived in Doha 13 years ago and loves the brotherhood he built on the mat. I've always been into my contact sport and I love that we can train our whole body whilst we're doing the sport. Not only that, but whenever I am training, there's a, a real camaraderie between everyone who, who does train. It's not really a fight club, but more like a fight community. The participants here range in age and skill, but all share the common love for the sport of mixed martial arts. Saeed Kosar has lived in Qatar for more than two decades. While he grew up playing another sport in Canada and didn't even know what MMA was a few years ago, he's fallen in love with the art form. I'm a huge fan now. I got a lot of respect for the guys. I started doing jiu-jitsu and MMA as well. It's a, it's a completely different sport than from what I grew up playing, which was, was basketball professionally. It's, it's just learning new skill sets, getting instructions again from a coach, making mistakes and trying to improve and making them better martial arts has skyrocketed in recent years, more combatants have entered the crowded cage. Don Davis is the head of the Professional Fighters League and he came to Qatar to discuss the PFL's expansion plans in the region and had fighting words for his competition. Francis Nagano, the number one fighter in the world, left UFC to join PFL. Jake Paul, the superstar influencer, came to PFL. Why did these two top fighters come? Fighter first league. Fighters are in control regular season playoff and championship. At the PFL, you win in advance, you lose and go home. It's not like the UFC or anything else in combat sports. The promoter doesn't decide anything in the PFL. The athlete does. Back at the UFC gym, class is still in session. Martial arts teach you a lot of life lessons. The lessons you learn is not just applicable on the mat. So if they learn to be more humble, they learn about discipline, they learn about respect. All of these lessons are brought up into the mats, into the classes. So this is a very achievable goal. He's one of the best pound for pound fighters on the planet. Islam Makhachev is often described as the next Khabib in reference to Khabib Nurmagomedov, arguably one of the greatest UFC fighters in history. 
I recently caught up with Makachev when he was in Doha to host a mixed martial arts master class and to find out more about his incredible journey to become the lightweight champion of the world. Now your mentor, Khabib Nurmagomedov, has called you the best pound for pound fighter in the world. What does that mean to you coming from arguably one of the greatest fighters this sport has ever seen? This is my dream to be UFC champion, to, do, to be UFC best fighter in the world, you know. This is my dream. Similar to Khabib, you are very proudly Muslim. How does your faith drive and motivate you? This is most important things, not just for me, for all Muslims. When I step to the cage, nothing helped me. Like not training camp, not my corners, not my sparring partners, just God, you know. I did everything and just believe God and he give me always what I ask and he give me always more than what I ask. Why are Dagestani fighters so dominant in this sport? You know why the Dagestan have many champions because the iron, sharp iron, you know, that's why we have many champions and for example, me, I training all my life with Habib and he helped me a lot. You're in Qatar for the opening of two UFC gyms. Why has the sport grown so rapidly in the region? Honestly, I don't know. Because everybody loves him, everybody loves fighting. That's why, you know, this is real fight. You don't wear big gloves or you just wear small gloves, short, and go to the cage and you have you and your opponent. A lot of people who want want your title. Who want my title? They just come who to the want? cage. Who do you want? Doesn't matter who. Who deserve? I want who deserve. Not that money fight or something like this. I need real contender and who deserve fight for the title. What advice do you have for you know, young people who might want to get into MMA? In my advice, uh, just focus. You know, many people want to be champion, but not many people want to wake up early morning, training hard. Doesn't matter if it's MMA or other sports. You just have to be focused, training every day. And one day, Allah gonna give you, inshallah. One day you can be the UFC lightweight champion in the world like you. <laughs> because same things about me. I'm come from, not like from champion family or like something. I just born and training all my life. Now, from a relatively modern style of combat to the ancient martial arts, Taekwondo can be traced back nearly 2,000 years, originating from Korea. Taekwondo, which literally translates to the art of kicking and punching, has now become a popular international sport. And as Lila Humaira found out, Taekwondo is all about self-defense, but that doesn't mean the kicks don't pack a punch. Don't let them fool you. They're young and some are small in stature, but try to hurt them and these Taekwondo students will be quick to defend themselves. They're learning the combat sport at Kim's Extreme Taekwondo under the guidance of Master Sung Jin Kim. And today, they're about to be tested to earn a belt promotion. Kim's students include children as young as 4 years old to adults as old as in their 50s or 60s. Among them is 10-year-old James Kim, who first started Taekwondo because of his younger brother, but has now found a love for the sport. It's fun, it's challenging, and it's, it makes my body very active. 17-year-old Suhani Sabu has been practicing Taekwondo for 5 years and has also seen some benefits. It is a stress buster for me because school exams and assignments were really stressful and coming here would just help me feel calm and feel light. So calm and light aren't how one would describe some of the skills though. In fact, the moves are fast, strong and accurate. So after a quick crash course on Taekwondo, it's time for me to try a hand at some of these amazing skills and hope I don't hurt myself or anyone. Let's go. Now that was just one wooden board. Some Taekwondo practitioners can break up to 10 or more wooden plates, which is hard to believe. 
But that's where the mental part of Taekwondo comes in, training the mind to improve concentration and eventually, with physical conditioning, overcome what seemed impossible to do before. It's mind control. To tell you the meaning of Taekwondo, Ta means fit, Kwon is mean fists, Do is means mental. So Taekwondo means to physical and mental training. This mentality can be applied to everyday life too. For Hamam Haddad, Taekwondo taught him how to be disciplined and focused. I wasn't cared for anything in my life, to be honest. But when practicing Taekwondo, because when we learn it, we are focusing in every single detail. And with more practice and more time, it's become like something in your daily routine or habit. Taekwondo is a way of life. Hamam has achieved the highest belt rank in Taekwondo and is working on a teacher certification. He's a role model for other students in the room. My goal is to go to black belt. Kim ji stand up! Well, James is on his way there. He passed the belt promotion with flying colors. He received the Grand Excellence Award, which is given to only one student who shows all-round improvement, skills, agility, and potential. With students like James, Hamam, and Suhani keeping the ancient martial arts alive, the future of Taekwondo as an international sport is looking stronger than ever. Well, the final bell has rung on this episode, and that means that's all the time we have for now. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of combat sports. For more, check out Euronews.com and connect with us through our hashtag. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Cutter 365.